Christina and I'm back with another episode of Dollar Tree Gourmet. That's right, Dollar Tree Gourmet, where we make gourmet recipes out of ingredients you can find at the Dollar Tree. Today we're going to be making a wonderful fall recipe. This is a pumpkin pie cream cheese bar. It's going to have elements of a pumpkin pie in it and a cheesecake and everything that is wonderful about the holidays. I cannot wait to share this recipe with you guys. It's going to be amazing and delicious. Yay, fall! Let's get started. For this recipe, you're going to need the following ingredients. The first thing is this yellow cake mix. This is a Mrs. Fields yellow cupcake mix. This box is nine ounces. Um, this is what my store had on hand, and this is actually about the size we're gonna need. If you happen to find a bigger size yellow cake mix, that's completely fine. You'll probably just need to use about nine ounces of it, um, but this is actually gonna work really, really well for our recipe. We're gonna be making our crust out of this. The next thing is, of course, the star of our show, our pumpkin pie mix. So I picked this up at the Dollar Tree. Now, when you go to the Dollar Tree, and I went yesterday just to kind of scope out the situation, um, they have a pumpkin pie mix there, and they also have canned pumpkin. Make sure for this recipe, because it is a dessert, we want it to taste like pumpkin pie, go ahead and get the pumpkin pie mix. If you do pick up regular pumpkin in a can, where the ingredient, only ingredient is pumpkin, that's okay. You're just going to have to add some sugar and spices to it to make it taste more like a pumpkin pie. But for this recipe, we definitely want the pumpkin pie mix. Next, I've got some margarine here in a bowl melted. I have about maybe half to three quarters of a cup here. Then I have a few eggs. I have three that are cracked into this bowl. I also picked up some cream cheese. This is six ounces of cream cheese in a tub, which I have softened. It's been sitting on my counter for about an hour. All right, next I picked up this French vanilla coffee creamer. Um, if you don't want to use this or if you can't find it in your store, that's okay. Um, you can go ahead and use evaporated milk instead. Um, I picked this up specifically because it has a little bit of extra sugar in it, and this is a dessert after all and it also lends that vanilla background to the flavor which I thought would go really well with this. The final ingredient is just going to be some plain white sugar. Alright guys we've got everything we need here, seven ingredients, so let's get started. The first thing that we're going to want to do is work on our crust. So basically this cupcake mix, which I pulled the bag out of the box, it looks just like this, is going to be the basis, the crust for our bars. So what I want you to do is go ahead and dump this whole thing, this is nine ounces again guys, of white cake mix, put it into a bowl. Next, I'm going to add about half a cup of melted margarine or butter. The final ingredient to our crust is just going to be one egg. Now that we've got everything in our bowl, go ahead and mix everything up really well. Feel free to use an electric mixer for this. I'm not going to bust mine out because I can do it with a whisk, um, but if you want to use your electric mixer, that's totally fine. Just make sure everything gets fully, fully incorporated, then we're going to put it in the bottom of our pan and pre-bake it at 350 degrees for about eight minutes just until it sets up in the bottom of our pan for us. Now that our crust mixture is in the oven, let's go ahead and work on our pumpkin pie filling. So basically what you're going to need, again, is this can of pumpkin pie mix, which I'm going to add to this bowl. Next, I'm going to add in two eggs. Finally, I'm going to add about half a cup of our French vanilla coffee creamer. I think I added about a third of a cup there, so between a quarter and a third. I'm not really a measurer, guys. I just kind of, you know, eyeball things and, and bake. So um, anyway, just once you get that in your bowl, go ahead and mix everything up really, really well. Once you've got all of the ingredients fully incorporated in your bowl, it's going to look a little bit something like this. This smells phenomenal. As soon as our crust is done baking, which we only have about a minute left, um, pre-baking anyway, it's not completely done. We just wanted to get a little bit, um, a little bit baked so that when we put this wet ingredient on top, it doesn't get super soggy. Um, we're gonna go ahead and put that on top, but not without our cream cheese cheesecake type mixture on top. Oh my gosh, guys, it's gonna be so good. I'm so excited about this recipe. All right, so our crust is out of the oven. I pulled it out at about eight minutes. It is not fully baked through, but it's just kind of starting to brown on top and around the edges. It smells so good in here, guys. It's unbelievable. I'll show it to you in just a second, but first let's fix the cream cheese topping. So go ahead and add that entire tub. Again, this is six ounces of cream cheese. I'm gonna add to my bowl here. If yours isn't quite as soft as you want it to be or as easy to mix as you need it to be, just go ahead and pop it in the microwave for about 20 to 30 seconds. It'll be completely fine. Just make sure you cover it with a paper towel because cream cheese tends to splatter when you microwave it. So now that our cream cheese is all nice and softened here in this bowl, I'm going to be adding about two tablespoons of sugar. Okay, once you have your sugar added, go ahead and add about the same amount of coffee creamer. Alright, once you've got your cream cheese, your sugar, and your coffee creamer all in one bowl, go ahead and whisk that together really, really well. Okay, and just to show you guys the consistency that you're looking for, it's kind of like this drippy consistency where it's not a liquid but definitely not a solid and it doesn't like fall off your spoon but it just kind of like 
glides like the cheesecakey, heavenly goodness that it's gonna be. <laughs> so once it's fully whisked in, we're gonna be putting everything together. So here's our crust, guys. This is what it's gonna look like. So what we're gonna do is take our pumpkin topping here and just add it right on top of the crust. Once you've got that on, just go ahead and spread it around, put it in an even layer all over that crust. Once you've got that done, you've got it spread in an even layer over the crust, you can go ahead and shake it out a little bit like this just to kind of even everything out. And then go ahead and take that cream cheese cheesecake topping that we made earlier and take a few dollops just like this and throw it right on top. And just do that sporadically throughout the bars. You guys, I tasted this cream cheese part of the bars. Oh, I cannot wait. You guys are going to seriously not even believe what is in this bowl right now. It is so good. It's so crazy. Like I had to stop the camera and make my husband take a taste as well because I was like in shock and awe over what we have just created from Dollar Tree ingredients. This is so amazing, guys. Once you have your cream cheese uh, placed on the bars like this, it's kind of in dots all over the top of it, go ahead and take your spoon and just kind of swirl it around the top. And what this is going to do is not only give it a pretty effect on top but kind of just help everything spread out really evenly help it kind of combine and mix in with the pumpkin mixture oh my goodness guys what are we doing with dollar tree stuff over here this is crazy oh, i'm really excited about this recipe because i've been like dreaming of this ever since i don't know like march <laughs> so i'm really really stoked to actually finally be making these fall recipes that i've been like drooling over and just thinking about forever. I've got our cheesecake topping all over the top. I'm gonna stick this in a 350 degree oven for approximately 40 minutes. I will show you guys the end result and I cannot wait, wait to taste these things. They're gonna be so awesome. Okay guys, well I pulled my pumpkin pie cheesecake bars out of the oven. They are literally so, so, so good. I'm just gonna take a taste here for you guys just because I can't even not do that, so. So the bottom layer is like that yellow cake mix that's been kind of baked a little bit. It's a little bit nutty now because it's kind of got the butter in it and everything like that. Then we've got the pumpkin layer, which is just mm, pumpkin pie times 10. I love it. And then we've got that cheesecake layer, which just makes everything so creamy and so delicious. One other thing that I do want to say, my microplane, I did grate a little bit of cinnamon over the top over the edge. The only thing I can think of that would make this a little bit better is just a little bit of whipped cream or some vanilla ice cream. Well, I thank you guys all so much for watching. If you do like my videos, please do subscribe and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye!